respected dignitaries on the dais, of the dais, students participating in this function, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let me congratulate SIO Goa Zone for conducting the campaigns that they have been doing during the last few years. I also congratulate those students who are being felicitated today for winning awards in one of these campaigns. I sincerely hope that SIO Goa Zone will continue to carry on the good work that they have been doing. Let me now address the students who are here to and give you my perspective on what is happening as far as the student world is concerned. The last 50 years have changed the world irreversibly. Breakthroughs in computing, communication, medicine, manufacturing, and a number of other areas have ensured that the method of living today is quite different from what it used to be in the past. How does one use a mobile more efficiently to meet the daily needs? How does one use a desktop to keep track of daily business, however small or big it might be? How does one use these gadgets to make life for one's family more comfortable? These are the questions that we need to address day to day. Are we prepared to handle these questions? Uh, is our education system preparing us to address issues that arise on a day-to-day -day basis and keep varying from time to time? I believe that India has taken the right step in addressing this issue by laying emphasis on education. Goa particularly does very well as far as education is concerned. Just about everybody who is born in Goa goes through about high school education and almost a third of those who go through the high school go on to higher education, to college and to the university. I think in the next few decades, we are going to see a rapid increase in the economy of the country that should be able to provide opportunities to everybody who has received good education. And laying the foundation for that is the primary duty of the students and others who are associated with education programs. What then should be the strategy that should be followed by a student who is preparing himself or herself to handle the problems of tomorrow? Let me share some thoughts with you on this issue. First and foremost, I think it's important that you pick up a program of education with which you feel comfortable. You will find advices received on the basis of what society likes, what someone else likes, but every student has to ask himself or herself what he or she is comfortable with. And I think it's important that you do that at an early age so that your education would be a pleasure, education would be something that you would look back on as a good time in your life. Remember that while making this decision, you will have to be realistic. Everybody would like to play cricket and be a top batsman, but then not everybody can manage to do that because there are only about 11 players in a team. One has to be realistic while choosing one's own destiny 
in education by looking at what your strengths are, how to overcome your weaknesses, and so forth. Second, every student must be prepared to take risks. Maybe you will not determine during the first time when you attempt to find out what your profession should be. If that is the case, be prepared to change it. Be prepared to say, well, I've made a mistake. Let me make a change. One should be prepared to do that because that is what life is. There are no clear answers in life. One has to attempt answers. One has to adjust and go on. Third, and I couldn't emphasize this more, is you must be prepared to work hard. Nothing comes out of nothing. You have to put in the effort. You must be prepared to face disappointments. But you must also be aware that hard work does play does pay in the long run. When your actions lead to disappointments, don't think about them, go on to the next. It is said that the best players are those who forget what happened during the last ball that was bowled and only look at the ball that they have to face. I think that is a good advice. What, there are disappointments in life, but one has to keep moving on without allowing those disappointments to bog you down. Fourth, stick with your ethics, with your values that have been imbibed in you by your family and by your school. These are the anchors of your life. These are the anchors that will guide you through the long life, through difficult decisions in life, through difficult good and bad times in life. Keep them in mind whenever you have to face difficult issues. Finally, I think you need to think global. India is today one of the countries, not the, the, the country with the largest population of youth. This being the case and the world getting older it will be, the country will be asked to provide services to the entire world. I think our youth needs to look at it as an opportunity to serve the world and therefore be ready to serve anywhere in the world. This is an opportunity that our youth must not miss. Very often I'm told that Goan students are reluctant to move out of Goa because this is a nice place to live. Yes, that is true, but at the same time, you must remember that to grow professionally, you must be prepared to go anywhere your profession needs you. I would also like to comment upon here how to prepare yourself to face the realities of the world tomorrow and what employment market de demands from you. Very often, it demands from you things that go well beyond what is taught in the classroom. For example, the Department of Labor of USA keeps on its website certain desirable attributes that they expect from anyone seeking an employ employment. We don't always teach them in the classroom, but I think as future professionals, you must be aware of them. And let me list six of those as they are listed on that website. First is communication. Communication to be able to convey to your fellow professionals what is it that you have in mind and to understand what they have to say. Number two, enthusiasm and attitude. Enthusiasm and attitude towards the work that you are required to carry. Number three, ability to work in a team, to get along with people, to get along with those that advise you and those that would demand from you certain 
functions, one must be able to accept them as a part of a team. Fourth, ability to network, ability to, to communicate, to set up possibilities whereby you can grow professionally. Number five, must develop ability to solve problems and to do critical thinking. These are the attributes that ultimately lead you to what is the most important attribute, which is being a professional, developing a professionalism that allows you to face the world as a dignified and a respected person of the society. My dear students who are here, I sincerely hope that your career will be a career which is something that you will look back on, that it will lead to a happy life to you, that it will lead to a fulfilling life to you. Let me once again congratulate all those who are being felicitated here today for winning the awards. I also compliment SIO Goa Zone for organizing this function, and I thank them for giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts with you. Thank you. Thank you.